Hey guys, Jesse Edberg here. Going to show you how you can use screen sharing application on one Mac to remote into another Mac and copy files back and forth. And it actually feels like you're right at the Mac. So it's really awesome to be able to do this. Uh, super convenient if you're wanting to, you know, monitor your kids, right? Let's say your kids have a Mac that they're doing their homework on. You have your Mac, you're sitting out in the kitchen cooking or whatever you're doing. You want to make sure little Jimmy's doing his homework um, on the Mac and not playing some game, right? So you remote in to little Jimmy's Mac and you just have it up on your screen. You can see what they're doing. If you see a big long pause, you can go check in and say, hey, what's up, right? Or maybe shake the screen a little bit, right? So the first step we're going to do is we're going to hop on this Mac that we're going to remote into and get it configured so that we can remote into it. We need to set up uh, one of the user accounts on that device to be able to remote into it. And then we're going to use those credentials, the username and password from that account on that device to log into it, right? So from another Mac. All right, let's get this set up and let's get this going. All right, so we're going to enable remote management on this device so that it can be screen shared into and controlled remotely. We need to open up system preferences, click on the sharing pane. Within sharing we're going to want to select remote management. We're going to toggle that on. Within here we're, we notice that it says all users. Uh, these users are admin users on the device. I actually want to choose one user. So let me just select only these users. And I want to only allow Mac Lady. The reason I'm choosing an individual user is because in the event the device becomes compromised somehow, from a piece of faulty software or something it's not creating accounts and it, they would most likely know how to do this but this just mitigates a little bit of risk right by choosing the one user that you want to be able to control the device and that's Mac Lady I want to give Mac Lady all of these options so I can hold down the option key and click on any one of these and it'll highlight all of them. I want to be able to control it. I want to show when I'm being observed because it is my Mac and you know people should know when they're being remoted into. Uh, the other thing is unless it's your kid maybe you don't want that so then you would uncheck that if it's your kid and you don't want them to know. Um, you can pretty much do anything and everything that you can when you're right at the device. There are some business level things that you can't do remotely with like MDM management, but that's not covered in this. So let's click on the OK button. Now we have that set up. We can look at this IP address because we're going to need that IP address in order to remote into this device. All right. So now let's hop over to my device. So this is Mac Ladies. We're going to hop over on over to Mac Guy's device and set up a remote screen sharing session to this device and copy over some of these files that are on the desktop. All right, let's hop over. All right, we're going to use the screen sharing app to remote into Mac Ladies' computer. Screen sharing app is really located in a deep location. It's located within the system folder, library folder, core services folder, and applications folder. So that's how far they've put it down in to directories. It's kind of crazy. I prefer to just get to it via the spotlight. You can either use the spotlight right there or you can use it by initiating command and spacebar keys to get the spotlight search to come up. That's how I normally do it. Let's type in screen and screen sharing comes up right away. We're going to hit return. 
Now we need to type in the IP address that we got out of the sharing pane on the Mac Lady device. Click connect. It is connecting. It's asking for the credentials and we know that it's Mac Lady. And enter that password. I'm not going to check the remember password because if Mac guy computer becomes compromised then they would have access to Mac Lady as well and we don't want that. So we click sign in and bam look at that we have full control over this device we can do anything we want. I can copy this Mac guy file that she wanted to send to me and I can drag this Mac lady file over to this device from mine. Super convenient um, and as you can see we're in incognito mode so nobody can tell there's no binoculars up here there's no um, way for anybody to really know unless they were monitoring logs or something uh, that you were remoted in. Now, so let's say your kid is doing homework and they're slacking and uh, you don't know what's going on. You could actually, this is kind of creepy, but you could do a, a command space bar on theirs, open up photo booth, boom, and bam. Oh, look at that. Come on now. Wake up. Get your homework done, Boz. You got to get it done, buddy. No, but that's just some of the things you could do within a screen sharing session. You can do whatever you want, right? You can control that thing completely. Let's add in, uh, so because this is Mac Lady's device and not some kid's device, Mac Lady probably doesn't want Mac Guy remoting in without her knowing. So we're going to show how to get the binoculars and the computer icon up in the menu bar. We need to open up system preferences, the sharing pane, select remote management, click on computer settings, and at the top it says show remote management status in the menu bar. When I click OK, you're going to notice that it turns to binoculars. But actually, when you're in a remote screen sharing session into a device, that would actually turn into a computer icon with the binocular. So we have to redo this screen sharing session for it to update. I'm going to close the window, go back up to connection, and down to new. Or, even easier, go down to open recent, click MacBook. Uh, Mac Lady, if I could type. Click sign in. And bam. You can see that the icon got updated. And it just shows that somebody is remoted into my device. And that's it. Hey guys, hopefully you found that super helpful. And you're now a screen sharing Mac Ninja. Um, honestly, I use it all the time, so hopefully you can benefit from it, and uh, make sure you like it, share it with your friends so they know how to do this stuff, and subscribe to the channel so you make sure you get the latest content, right? Um, also, if you have any ideas of things you want me to share with everybody, just let me know at jesseedberg.com, and I will try to help out, alright? Take care, have an awesome day.